Alright, so, uh, greetings. This is gonna be some scrolls play. Actually, the, the point of this is for, uh, Fom to show me how it's done. Fom, are you there? Yes, I am. How's it going? Right. Basically, uh, Fom is going to be trying to help me out because I can't quite seem to get the, the hang of this. <laughs> uh, why don't you play against the computer so I'm not. Uh, okay. Doing what you're doing. All right. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick match against medium. Sounds good. And uh, basically, I took the pre-constructed decks and I just added all my cards, so like six cards. Well, do you do you think one of these is better for a new player? Um, I think growth is probably the growth easiest okay. for the player. And it's also the most powerful right now. Okay. So I'm not going to explain like how to play scrolls because I'm sure there's a lot of other videos out there. But um, oh yeah, you're right. It didn't change my avatar, my profile. Uh, so the first thing I would try to do is sacrifice something to get probably the wolf out since he's got mm -hmm. haste. And I think I would sacrifice the bear paw because. It increases the countdown of other units. Um, um, I guess sometimes it's helpful to increase the countdown to sync up your units okay. so that when you, you're, you're using something like um, Crimson Bull, you, you hit more units that way. Okay. So I would save that. I would sack the Junkyard. Junkyard. I don't find those very useful. Yeah, that would be my second choice. Okay. And then I usually just put it in the middle or wherever. Yeah. You, you want to start in the middle. Um, okay. Probably the middle rank as well. Oh, here? You know, I don't put it here because, um, like, lobbers, if if the lobber's here, he's only going to get these three spots. <clears throat> if, if the lobber is, uh, you know, aimed at the middle, he'll get more spots, so I try to... Plus, then I can put two walls in front of him and hopefully not uh, get killed as easy. <laughs> Well, uh, if you start in the middle, you have more options. You can move to the front or you can move to the back. If you start in the back, you can only move to the middle. That's true, because moving doesn't actually take away any of your actions or anything like that. Right. Uh, moving is basically free once per turn. So. And then, do you ever like look at what your opponent does? Because I pretty much just wait till he attacks me and then I... But I don't really usually watch what he does. Um, well, there's not too much you can watch. You can watch what he's placing and how many cards he has in his hand. And pay attention to what... Um, um, resource he's using. But other than that, there's not too much. So now that I have two bear pods, like my instinct is to burn one of these. Um, yeah, that's probably a good idea. For, and I would do it for resources, for growth. Right. And then I would have probably put out the well, but the other option is the bear paw. He's got a one count right now, so this would raise him to a two. Yeah, um, I would probably do the bear paw. The other thing is, oh, he's got two health, so yeah. If I don't, I won't be able to kill him this. Exactly. <clears throat> uh, that's all I can do. Doorbell. Yeah, that's my son ordered Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me, though. Uh, Ooh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so... After I go, they're both going to go. Yeah, they'll both attack this turn. And since they're on the same rank as you now, they're going to be able to shift to attack whatever spot you move to. Right. Do you think they will? Yes. Oh, um, really? It's almost always better to kill opponent, opponent's units than to get the, the idols. And they're going to do three damage, which I have three health. Mm -hmm. If I put out the well, does mm -hmm. it add one to me? It will because you have four health total. This unit would have four health. You can't go above your total health 
Um, how but you I... actually have a better play here. How can I tell my total? Because I only see two. You can't. Okay. Well, you you see that he has two on the card, and then the bear paw grants you two more. Yeah. So that's how you. That's the only way to know. Okay. Um, because some things can heal you above your total, I think, right? They can't heal you above your total, but if you get buffs, then your total goes up, basically. Okay. Okay, so you said I have a better option? Yes. Read the text of Mangy Wolf. Okay, so when it when Mangy Wolf does damage, it's healed by one. Other wolf creatures have their count. Okay, so basically I want to put this guy in play. Yeah. Now, I'm tempted to turn him into resources, but the thing that I don't know is, does this card go to the bottom of a card stack and get recycled, or is it gone forever once I turn it into resources? It gets recycled. Okay. But from what I've found, the average game goes through about 30 scrolls. Okay. And since you only have one Great Wolf in that deck, it's unlikely that it'll come back. Oh, and I definitely want him in play, because he's... He's a very good unit. See, now when I play against the medium computer, I know for sure that he's put two of these out against me. Yeah, the medium com- computer does have better decks. Oh, huh. that's uh, that's unfortunate. So I guess I should burn the well then. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay. And then... Uh, they're going to attack for three. If I... Okay, actually, if I put him out, he'll attack for three... He's only going to take out this guy, though. Yeah, but you're not worried about the, his wolf. One okay. damage isn't a big deal. And so if I put the wolf in front, he'll soak up some of it. Yeah, your mangy wolf will soak the damage from the wolf. And so. then he's going to get healed when he attacks anyway. Exactly. Okay. And you're killing his kinfolk brave, which is very good, because that is a very powerful unit. It yeah. attacks every turn. Yeah, see, I have no, I don't have a feeling yet for what's good and not good, you know? Now, I got this Vitriol Aura enchantment. Mm hmm. And if he was at a one, I would put it on this guy. But since he's not, I'm just going to turn it into resources. Or should I turn it into cards? Um, you need to read that card again. So if I, if I put it on this guy. When, when he gets attacked, the opposite person will get poisoned. Yes. But this guy's not going to attack me for two turns. Yeah, it's not a good card, but I just want you to know what it actually does. Oh, yeah, yeah. You seem to be confused. No, no. And, and my wolf will kill his wolf next turn mm-hmm. before he gets a chance to attack me, potentially. Yeah. So... So I would, I would burn it for resources. Yeah. Okay. Um, still working towards getting that great wolf out. Yeah, and I can't really do anything else, right? right? Should I bother moving? No, you want to stay where you are so that you can react to wherever he moves and chase him down to kill him. Okay, he's only doing one damage at the moment, so he wouldn't kill either of those guys. No, I'm saying you want to be in the same lane as him to kill him next turn. Yeah. Well, I would just. I was thinking of swapping their positions. So oh, the one with more health was in front, but um, okay. Well, because I so because I have wolves out there, I feel like I should instantly burn my totem and stick the great wolf out there. Um, that's one way to play it, but I see another opportunity here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, because. Um, he doesn't have too much going on right now. You don't have to rush. And if you look, you have a three attack on your wolf in the back yep. and a two attack on the wolf in the front. Yep. Two attack will kill his wolf. Yep. Three attack doesn't quite kill his um, brother of the wolf. Yep. But if you put this ancestral totem in front of that lane and move your three attack wolf over there, you'll be able to kill both of his units. Okay. So you're not going to burn anything this turn. Just put the totem out and then move your your back wolf over. Yep, and now they're both gone. Yep. That, that seems pretty straightforward. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh. 
I like this card, but if it means the difference between this and getting my wolf in play. Yeah, you definitely want to get your wolf out now. Okay. So now he's going to attack first, so I don't want to put him in this row, do I? No, you don't. I would just not even worry about his wolf. Um, right now, that guy doesn't have a lot going on. He's just three attack. It's okay. going to take him four turn, four times, so eight turns to destroy your idol. Okay. So eventually he's going to get bigger, but I would not worry about that guy for now. I would drop the great wolf in the same lane as the totem in the back. <clears throat> so he'll be a four, and this will be a four. Well, it won't quite destroy... Um, remember the great wolf gets plus two for each other wolf you have. So he'll be at five. Five and then six from the totem. Yeah. So you'll have ten in that row. So next turn, as long as he doesn't block you, you should be able to destroy that. Oh, that's good. I don't know. This card just seems like uh, I should just use it. No. No. <laughs> when you're when you're down to only having one card in your hand, almost without fail, you want to pitch it for two cards. Okay. Because two cards are pretty much always better than one. Unless this is exactly the, the scroll you need. Right. You wanna kick it out if you can get two back. Okay. And this okay, not this turn, but next turn this will be destroyed. Yeah. I'll just leave these guys where they are, right? Um, well, first let's, let's discard the Eye of the Eagle to see what you get, because that can change okay. what the plan is. Oh, another wolf is going to beef him up. Yep. And I could do both of these this turn. Mm -hmm. See, I don't like the unable to move effect, though. Yeah, that is a, a drawback. But it's a lot of health, so it's good to put in a front front line kind of guy. So what I would probably do is put the Ragged Wolf in front of the center lane, and then put the Dryadic Power on that Ragged Wolf. Because this is going to boost him up. It's not going to boost anyone else up, though, right? Right. Okay, because I was thinking, should I swap these two guys... That would give them seven, eight, nine. Not enough. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. That would be ten, right? Because this guy would go up to a three. Oh, this that's guy true. would go up to a seven, and then, then I'm doing three down here plus four. Eh, I don't know if it really matters. Um. I'll do it's... it anyway. Yeah. Okay. You said in the front. Yeah. Now, why would you put him in the front as opposed to the back further so I could put another wall in front of him? Um, well, you, first of all, you don't have very many walls in this deck. Okay. Second of all, um, he's basically acting like a wall that can attack at this point. Cause, okay. And being in the front center like that, he's kind of out of the way. He doesn't get in the way of your movement. If he is in the middle or in the back row, um, when you're trying to move stuff from left side to right side, it can get in the way. Okay. And you think I should put it on this guy? Yeah. So he's going to be a 5 health. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. He bas Yeah, he basically becomes a wall that can attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, it didn't. Oh, that's right. Next turn. So yeah, next turn I want to move. Oh, nice. All right, so my guys are close enough to zero. I don't feel like this is that useful. Well, <laughs> these guys are always going to be at either one or zero. So I would say... He's at zero. He's going to kill this. Mm -hmm. um, if I move him up here, he'll kill her next time, and she won't have been able to move yet. That's true. Uh, they're doing five damage, so they could take him out before he can do anything. Actually, I should do it this turn. I'll take out two of his units and a totem. Yeah. Oh, I can't move this guy. Oh, right. <laughs> but then he'll go to a one, right? 
he goes back to a one? No, he'll no, go he back goes to a two. two. Okay. Um. Yeah, if you're not going to do it now, then I should turn it into cards. Yeah. Okay. That's a tough choice, I guess. Yeah, it is Ugh. tough with rallying because that's a really good one. Ooh, no, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would use Eye of the Eagle first because you might get a good creature from that. Well, I got a decent. I think he's a decent guy, but I don't. I no longer have points to use him, so. Yeah. I'll go with it. Should I? I usually just throw these in, or should I keep it for later? Um, it could be worthwhile holding on to just as a card to burn to get cards next turn in case you draw something good or you could stick it out there to block his brother of the wolf yeah because the brother of the wolf doesn't have haste and he's going to do three damage which would kill this but at least it would stop from hitting my mm -hmm. idol yeah yeah I just alright so uh, and then I'm going to move... Well, actually, I don't need to move this turn. I might as well wait and see what she does. Yeah, it's worth waiting. Okay. In case he puts a, a kinfolk veteran out. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> he moved him down. See? <laughs> now, this is an easy computer. But he's got two white wolves out. I thought you picked medium. Oh, did I? Oh yeah, I did. You're right. Robot medium. Okay, so here I feel like this guy would be a nice thing to stick out. Mm -hmm. um, if I put him in this row, he's going to get killed because this guy Yeah. Well, next turn I'll get killed, but <coughs> Okay, this guy can't move anyway. These guys have to move because this totem's gone. Yeah. So I'm feeling like this one should just go up and take care of her. Yeah. I would probably send both of those in that row up to the row with the chick. You wouldn't try to send him down towards these guys? No. At some point, you just have to let them have a lane. Just to keep them occupied while you work on finishing theirs off. Oh, that's true. Okay. Because you're going to be able to kill the middle lane pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to be focused on the top lane, really, to get that down. So, And he'll have to come all the way up there to meet you. So you don't want to bother with his stuff. I would just stay away from his stuff. Yeah, because the middle lane's dead now, because I've got five attack going into four. Oh, yeah. There you go. So I would move both of the wolves in the lane with the, the totem to the lane with the fox girl and drop the kinfolk veteran in front um, and pitch the, the vitality wall for, for cards. Yeah, for cards? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Frostbeard and Totem. I think I would put him in and I would take this guy out. My other, does it, what, so when they attack, does it start from left to right? Or it does... starts from the front row to the back row, front and row. starts at the top to the bottom, I think. So he's going to take her out. If I were to put him up here, well, actually, either way, because he's got haste, so that's three, mm -hmm. four, five. So this would take four. Or I can... Oh, actually, yeah, that is what I want to do, because this will be the only totem left to beat. Yep. And that's going to be... Yeah, I'm in pretty darn good shape right now. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate those guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to do six to this. And... That's pretty much all that's queued up right now. Yeah. Um, uh, if I move one of these guys out, I could raise it to seven, but that doesn't seem worth it. Um, well, I would pitch one of those guys for cards first. 
I, I would, don't think you're going to need Kinfolk Jaro. Yeah. So I'll get rid of him for cards. I've taken him out of my decks. I hit too expensive. This right here, I don't like at all. Yeah. I don't like to tar sacrifice my own units, and this is just a wall. I mean, it's obviously good, but I'm not going to need it this turn. Yeah. So I'll just. So, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I guess I would just stick it in here to heal them up. Although that's going to block them from moving down, though. Actually, yeah. never, never mind. They don't need to move down. Yeah, at this point, I would beef up your center lane to act as defense of them getting across. With a uh, with a unit or with a. Um, I would probably move the. Um, there, that wolf is stuck there. Um, I would probably move the guy that's in the back up to the center, and then drop Frostbeard in the back. And then. As opposed to a, as opposed to a structure. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Because you you want to be able to as the as he's trying to come across, you want to try to kill some stuff rather than just blocking him. Yeah, so. I mean he's not going to catch these guys, but he might catch them because he's got a three uh, cooldown, whatever yeah. you call it. Uh, I think it at this point it's not going to be too. Yeah, it's probably not too significant either way. And I, I'm not going to play either of these cards because, well, yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, there's not a good spot to put the totem, and nutrition is pointless, and you don't have enough for the burial ground, so. Okay. And he's only got two left, which... Oh, I guess I won't do this turn. <laughs> that is a great spot for that junkie. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, there we go. So I'm going to be doing five, which I need to either bump that up by moving him down. See, that's something that's wrong. There's a bug there. When Frostbeard dies, he's supposed to give all of your units plus two attack until the end of the turn. Yep. But that didn't happen. Well, was that a known bug? Um, I don't know if it's been reported, but I've noticed it a couple times now. Okay, what I just said is not right. So, if I move him down and I put the Ancestral Totem there, it would be a net of plus two for these mm -hmm. two guys. But if I put him there instead, it's a net of plus three because he's got haste. Yep. Which doesn't really matter either way. I'm just, I need to do five plus two and here's five right here. But if I was playing, I don't know. Otherwise, well, it does matter because if you put the totem back there, your guy in front only has four, so he's going to bring the the wall down to one, and then the guy in the middle would only have three, and since he doesn't have um, relentless, he would get he would destroy the wall, and that would be it. Oh, I was thinking of haste. Sorry, you're right, relentless. So, but I, at this point, I think that's yeah. You made the right play, and I would probably just burn this for grass actually but you would probably do it for cards right um yeah probably because at this Ugh. point your most expensive spell is five and there's going to be occasions when you would want to play a five spell and a two spell or something but not too often but at this point you want to Yay! Nice. Thank you. That was very helpful. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs>